Yo, what is going on my YouTube familia? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my experience with intermediate fasting. Um, if you want to get to know a little bit more about intermediate fasting or my experience and maybe the reasons why, why I even got into it, you know, stick around and watch the rest of the video and hopefully you guys can get something good out of it. So let's jump right into it. Um, just first and foremost, obviously, uh, before you, you know, if you're considering doing intermediate fasting, you know, talk to your doctor about it uh, to see if it's convenient for you. I'm not, uh, I'm not a specialist here. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a professional, and I'm not, you know, giving you advice that you should try it. It's just my experience of what happened with it, and it's all, you know, hopefully you can learn something out of it, and you can learn something out of my experience. Um, so yeah, so one of the main reasons why I, I started doing intermediate fasting was because my doctor recommended it, right? At the, at the, at the beginning, uh, when I was telling her about all of my, my issues and, um, my, my GERD problems, right? Uh, the bloating and all of this and, and the gas, the acid reflux, the regurgitation, I mean, you name it, everything GERD. Uh, she told me that why don't I try intermediate fasting? And uh, when she explained to me everything that it was, I was like, all right, I, I guess I'll try it. Um, I did tell her at the beginning that breakfast was a big deal for me because in the Latin culture, the Hispanic culture, uh, we eat a big bre bre breakfast typically. Um, that's what we're used to. So she encouraged me to start trying instead of a full meal to start trying and eating or drinking, I should say, a protein shake, right? Um, that she provided. Uh, at the beginning, that was really tough, but it turned out to be very manageable. Uh, and that led my way up into doing the intermediate, intermediate fasting that I'm on now. Uh, so what I'm on now is the eight, uh, the eight sixteen rule, right? So it's basically I'm able to eat between an eight hour time window. And then after that window closes, then I don't eat until the window opens back up, backs up uh, <laughs> after the window opens back up uh, the next day. Right. So let me give you a time frame so you can make up in your mind. So what I prefer is doing the uh, from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. That's my eight hour window. Right. Uh, for me to be able to eat. Um after 7 p.m. that particular day, I don't eat anything. Um, I only drink water uh, and I drink a lot of water. The reason I do drink a lot of water uh, is not just because uh, I love water, but also uh, I constantly regurgitate and, you know, acid reflux. So I have to keep drinking water throughout the day, throughout that night. Uh, I mean, my GERD issues waking me up in the middle of the night several times. So I have to keep drinking water and have water beside me. But... I do not eat during that time frame. So uh, the next day, uh, I wake up in the morning, and that's when the doctor told me to start doing, um, you know, the, the the protein shake. And to be honest, I figured that I could go with the protein shake and actually wait until I eat lunch. Um, so that turned out to be very convenient. Now, if I am hungry in the morning, I would drink my protein shake. But uh, I started noticing as well that I would. Um, I would just, as time went on, I got used to not being able to eat in the morning. So now my body is used to being able to, to eat until 11. Um, obviously the time frame is not perfect. Uh, sometimes I might eat at 10 AM if I'm, you know, if I'm hungry and then stop eating at 6 PM, right? Still eight hours in between the eight hour window. And during that time, you can eat anything you want, but Obviously, it's better to eat in a healthier manner, in a healthier fashion. Um, you have to manage and, 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 and watch what you eat. And why do I say that? It's because typically, obviously, when you don't eat for basically um, 16 hours, um, that's a long time to wait, right? So when I'm done eating, uh, you know, about six or seven, I have to wait till 11 the next day. You know, I'm typically very hungry. 
So uh, I try to have that mental capacity and mental discipline of like, hey, when it comes to lunchtime, you know, eat your food, but don't eat excessively, right? Because then that creates even more problems. So, you know, just a little tip and a little advice. Um, obviously, this takes time. Um, so get used to it uh, because at the beginning, it was a little bit tough for me. Um, there's also, uh, I, I want to say, there's people that do it. I do the 16, 18 hour rule. I'm, I'm sorry, the six and 18 hour rule, which is they only eat uh, between six um, hours, that time frame, and then obviously they don't eat for the rest of the 18 hours. So that I found to be a little bit tough. I don't think I'll, I'll be able to do that personally, but you know, props to whoever you know, does that, that's, that's pretty cool. And also you can do the 12 and 12 rule, which is uh, you can, you're able to eat for that time frame of 12 hours and then you don't eat for 12 hours. I've heard that there's benefits to that as well. Uh, so obviously, you know, before you get into all of this, make sure you do your research very well on your end. Uh, the reason I do that ACE fixing rule was because it was uh, suggested by, by my doctor. So it's something I felt comfortable with and something, something that I feel comfortable now. But do your research, man. Make sure you go to, you know, to, to other YouTube pages and, and do your research online. Uh, which is very important and obviously then again talk to your doctor to see if it's convenient it'll help you but also i want to add that the reason i also like this is because i've read of a video that i've read on a video i watched a video that um during those 16 hours that you're waiting to eat if you were to exercise or i think even if you don't exercise you burn 30 percent 33 percent more fat than you normally would if you had like a regular full day to full day of meals right so um that actually helps me stay in my weight which is pretty cool i right now weigh around i fluctuate between between 220 and 225 but i do hey listen listen chat listen guys i wanna i wanna lose about 20 pounds i wanna weigh around 200 pounds i think that's a good weight for me but i i don't just want to lose fat i also want to keep my muscle so that's going to take a little bit of time but you know that's another story for another video um, but I do fluctuate around 220, 225, and I've noticed that I'm able to eat, um, you know, pretty decent food, I would say, and without gaining weight, right? And if I were to exercise um, or, or do a little bit of walking or, or you know, weightlifting, uh, I've noticed that I'm able to, you know, lose some weight, which this is what I'm going to continue uh, so I can lose, lose some weight in, in the future. Um, but the fact that you're burning 30, 33% more fat is pretty cool. I'm actually going to post uh, a couple of videos on the link below, uh, on the on the, on the the description of the video below. Uh, just so you guys can get an idea of, or get more information on, on any of fasting. Um, one of the videos I'm going to link on there is, uh, this is a chiropractor slash nutritionist that I used to go to. Um, and he has a, a really good channel, very, very informative. I would recommend you watching all his videos. Uh, I used to go to him, uh, but right now he is a little bit far from me. He lives in, he, we, we live in Georgia, right? I live in Georgia, but uh, I think his office is like an hour and a half from me. So it's really hard to go see him, but I plan on eventually going back to him because uh, he works with a lot of supplements, which is really cool. Uh, and it, it's something that I'm personally very interested in. Just keep it as natural as possible to manage my symptoms with GERD uh, and any other issues. Um, so I would recommend you doing that. He has over, I think, over a million subscribers. So he's he's, he's very he's he's very good. He knows what he's talking about, and I will recommend you watching those videos. Now let me talk to you about another reason why I like the intermediate fasting uh, that I'm on and the time frame that I'm on. Because if I stop eating around 6 p.m. at night, 6 or 7, depends on what time. Typically, to be honest, my dinner will be around, uh, you know, around 6 for the most part. So let's say I'm done eating at 6.30. Uh, I typically go to, go to bed around 11. So that almost gives me a five-hour window for my food to digest and for me to be able to at least get a good night's rest, right? Um... So I also have to take that into consideration. What time you go to bed would be very important whenever you're doing intermediate fasting uh, because you want your food to digest. Obviously, you don't want to eat an hour before you go to sleep uh, because, as you know, that's that's pretty bad for you. I actually used to have that habit in my past 
and it's one of the main reasons why I started suffering a lot from GERD and my issues got out of hand. But now I definitely weigh at least three hours before I go to bed. Um, uh, I, I eat three hours before I go to bed. Uh, and I mentioned this in my prior videos as to why that is. And the main reason is because when I've had the, when I had a study done for my stomach, the, the, the stomach emptying study, um, it, it, it turns out that my stomach, uh, I think, I think it uh, digests around 90% of the food content. Uh, so, you know, within three hours of eating, my stomach would, you know, get rid of all, the, all, all my food and, and, you know, process it through the GI tract. So 90% of it's gone. So that, you know, creates less regurgitation, creates less acid at night. Um, and obviously if you do, let's say, have a little bit of acid after you eat, then I'm able to, you know, drink some water and may, and, and, and kind of, kind of wait for it to get a little bit better before I go to bed. Now, is that, you know, successful 100% of the time? No, it's not. You know, there's some, with GERD, you never know how it's gonna turn out whenever you eat. But for the most part, it's a safe rule of thumb that I keep. I mentioned it to you guys, you know, just in case you, you got, just in case you guys are interested, but that's just pressing for me and it, and it kind of works for me as well. And then adding to that time frame, so whenever I wake up the next morning, I typically wake up around 7, 7.30 uh, to work. Uh, and fortunately for me, I work from home right now. So, uh, I wake up, you know, about 15 minutes before work, 30 minutes before work. It just depends. Um, but I try to get like an hour in of exercise before I eat my first meal, which is at 11 or 1130. Um, so I can burn a little bit more calories. Uh, and then your body starts using that stored energy, um, which is, you know, helps you lose a little bit more weight. And also it keeps me at the way that I'm at just in case I'm slacking on my food or I'm eating, uh, you know, pretty good um, during those days. For example, for Thanksgiving, uh, I ate a lot of food, but I kept that same, uh, that same uh, schedule and, you know, I barely gained any weight. So again, that's the reason I, I still fluctuate between 220 and 225. So I try to add that, add that hour in of exercise, uh, whether it's walking, uh, whether it's uh, a little bit of li lifting weights, Maybe, you know, going up and down the stairs a little bit. It just depends. Um, I can't do a lot of running because it affects up my heart rate too much and my, and my chest way too much. And if you see my videos, you know my health issues are, are, are all over the place and uh, it's not good for me, right? So just keep in mind, obviously, don't force yourself and, and don't overdo yourself if you can't do it. But if you can do just a little bit, it's better than doing nothing. Uh, you know what I mean? So I keep that in mind. Uh, and... Basically, that's all I have for you guys today. If you have any questions, uh, any concerns, just let me know. Comment on the YouTube section. And just, you know, a reminder uh, to share, like, subscribe. Um, hit the bell so you can get notifications uh, whenever I post videos. And also, whenever I go live on my videos. Um, because I do go live typically every, uh, every weekend uh, and most likely on a Saturday. So I would love to see you guys there. Uh, so we can interact one on one, and you know, with everybody in the in the chat and in the community here. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love, baby.